And now it's your turn to take the stage. Your story begins. When Lachlan Massey walks into a room, he commands it. In the adventures of Pinocchio. That's partly because he's had plenty of practice. This is Lachlan featuring in an ABC story at the age of 11. Lachlan Massey has all the makings of a junior maestro. At 11, he's the youngest conductor the Sydney Children's Choir's ever had. Having controlling over the whole thing, and you get to sort of choose the tempo and choose every other thing. So it's really exciting getting to sort of control the music. Seven years later, Lachlan is 18 and is about to deliver his very first opera to the stage. The idea sparked when Lockie was 15 and he settled on the tale of Pinocchio. I've really always wanted to do Pinocchio and the story really fits very well because people have expectations about what they think Pinocchio is going to be like and what it's going to be about. So my hope is that people will come um, with the knowledge that um, of the story of Pinocchio but will come away hopefully with something fresh. And I've been writing it since I was 15, so it's, it's really exciting to have it suddenly now come alive. He's composed the music, written the lyrics, and is also directing the production. It's been a labour of love. I've had to completely self-fund it, so that's been a lot of uh, part-time work, but it's all worth it when um, we see it come alive in rehearsals. It's really very exciting. 14-year-old Abby Thomas is starring as Pinocchio. Well, Pinocchio is a girl, um, mostly because I just thought Abby was perfect to play the role and she was someone I knew, but I actually do think that it does add something really exciting and something fresh to the role that perhaps were pro is probably a first and, and not many people have seen before. Yeah, Lockie's a really fun person to work with. Um, he you know, makes the rehearsal room an enjoyable space, but also when we need to work, we always knuckle down and do that. Inez Paxton plays the role of the turquoise fairy, and Alexander Caldwell is Pinocchio's father, Geppetto. They're both at the very beginning of their careers and are keen to take hold of this opportunity. It's so rare, and um, studying classical singing, um, it's really a process of you start f from the beginning, from like music from hundreds of years ago, and you don't get a you don't get a really um, strong opportunity to sing that in on stage in a production for years and years and years and years. So doing something modern right that right now when we're all so young, it's fantastic and uh, it's really unique music as well. I think it really reflects like what opera is becoming now and it's um, yeah just really fresh and exciting and fun. Lockie is very professional in the way he goes about things. Um, he's very um, committed to his to his job and just the whole organization of the whole thing has just been very professional. This is the first production put on by the Musgrove Opera Company, which was established by Lockie. The name was inspired by Australian theatre producer George Musgrove. What I particularly admired about George Musgrove was his commitment to regional touring, and that's something that I would really like to do as well. For Lockie, music is a way of life. Singing is just fun. It's a passion for me, and it makes me feel good. So. Music was sort of the only thing I had, had ever thought about doing professionally and, and now it's really exciting to get a start on that. He hopes to follow in the footsteps of George Musgrove and take his story of Pinocchio to the regions. Let's do it again. Start from the... Um